it it was really scary for me and I bet Dalton was pretty scared too. It never seemed like Dalton was like really happy and like I could understand why because he just never knew what was happening. When Dalton arrived, he was very thin, very gaunt. He cried a lot. He has cerebral palsy, epilepsy. He's nonverbal. He's quadriplegic, so he utilizes a wheelchair. Dalton is a bundle of joy, and he's always happy. He enjoys music, he enjoys people playing with him. Um, he definitely um, you know, ha has a love for, for his family. Um, he, he lights up when you know, his mom comes in the room. Me, my mom, my dad, we make sure that he knows that he's loved here. I wanted and hoped that um, me and my brother would get adopted, but I, I was afraid that um, we'd age out of the system. So academically, he was challenged. Um, but not challenged like as in he couldn't do it. He was challenged in that he didn't know how to do it and he just needed somebody to help him. Now I'm set up for success and like I can think about my future and like I'm thinking that I might be able to do things that I want to accomplish. I couldn't begin to imagine Dawson and Dalton not together. I know that Dawson is and will always be the person that he is because he got the opportunity to keep his brother. I believe that Dalton was put on this earth not only to brighten everybody's day, but to teach me and guide me in the path of being a doctor. I received the greatest gift anyone has ever given me. I have two amazing sons. I could not have given birth to better. <laughs>